Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm super excited for today's tutorial. I finally borrowed Bella's Morphe James Charles palette and I created this look for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look and my thoughts on the palette, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my lids and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color light and I'm just applying a nice even base all over my eyelid and then I buffed it out with a damp beauty sponge and I did set it with some translucent powder. I used the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in the color Cupcake. And then jumping right into the palette, I picked up the yellow eyeshadow and it is a very, very pigmented shadow. I absolutely love the formula of this palette. It's quite different than the other Morphe palettes that I've used, but uh, nonetheless, it's still a good palette and all of these colors worked pretty well for me. Um, the orange shade, the light orange shade was a little bit um, less pigmented, but I just went in a few times and it definitely had some color payoff. I just had to kind of dig in that one a little bit more. But I picked up the darker orange shade to carve my crease with an angled brush and then I'm picking up the light orange shade to help me buff it out and I used a very small tapered brush by Morphe to help me diffuse that line just going in left and right motions and just kind of dragging that shade over that line and not really bringing it up any higher since we're working with several different shades in the crease I kind of try to keep everything in its general area that we lay it down Next, I just picked up a fluffier brush and that light orange shade once again and I'm just sweeping that over everything and just kind of making everything blend into each other. This look definitely required a lot of blending. I definitely think that it was worth it because the final result came out pretty good. But next, I'm just picking up this red eyeshadow in the palette and this really, really defined angled brush. And I'm just drawing over top of that first line that we applied in the crease. And I'm just really making sure that that line is nice and prominent because this is the last time that we're going to be adding definition into the crease. And then going back into that small tapered brush and that darker orange shade, I'm just going in left and right motions and just kind of making sure that everything is really nice and blended. And then I picked up this angled brush and my Tarte Shape Tape in the color light and I'm just carving my lid. Next, I'm going into this light gold shade in the palette and I'll leave all the names to all the shadows in the description box down below but I'm just kind of patting this all over my lid and that shade is absolutely stunning. I did wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and it was super pigmented and it's just a very stunning shade. Next, I'm just going to start to add some dimension to the outer corner. So first going into that light orange shade and then going into the dark red eyeshadow afterwards. And it's just really going to give this look a lot more dimension and it's definitely going to just add more of an edge to the look. Next, I'm just picking up this bigger fluffy brush and that light orange shade and I'm just kind of dragging this brush over top of everything that we just laid down and kind of dragging it inward to drag that gradient even closer to the inner corner and that's just going to really bring all the colors together. And then I'm picking up this angled brush and some glitter glue. I used the one by Too Faced. And then for the glitter, I'm picking up my Eye Candy Cosmetics Hocus Pocus Glitter, which is one of my favorite glitters. I definitely felt like this look needed a little something. So this glitter definitely helped pull everything together. And then on the lid, I kind of did a triangle shape and kind of making it wider on the bottom and then narrowing it out towards the top. Then I'm just peeling off the tape and applying my Shop Selfie Bella Lashes in the style Bali. 
and the link to check out these lashes will always be in the description box down below but I've absolutely been obsessed with this style and then I'm going into this plum Mr. Right liner by The Balm in my waterline and then going into that light orange shade and just buffing that onto the lower lash line and then going into this a light brown shade in the palette and just diffusing that on the lower lash line as well and after I applied this brown I just felt like it needed a little bit of a pop of color so I decided to go into this maroon well it's not maroon um it's kind of like a pinkish purple shade and I just decided to buff that onto the lower lash line as well just to kind of pull the orange and the brown together and then I'm applying my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my lower lashes. And then I decided to go into this light pearl shade in the palette. And just decided to pop that onto the inner corner. And that shade is absolutely stunning. And then the last thing that I'm doing is running my spoolie through some bar soap. And then running it through my brow. And it's literally just bar soap and Fix Plus on the spoolie. And that's the finished look, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I definitely want to create more looks using this palette. It's honestly an amazing palette. I didn't really know what to expect when I was using it, but it definitely did not disappoint. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys want to enter our monthly giveaway for a chance to win a box of goodies from us, then just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn your post notifications on and then comment done in the comment section down below. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!